in because the building, the, the space is small. It only holds about 50 people. And we all know there's fire codes that they have to go by. So we're not going inside. So we need to concentrate on why we are here. And the thing is, we are here because we want to end police brutality. We want them to stop killing our black and brown brothers and sisters. That's what we want. We want Chief Sir Fire. Justice Memorial Woods Coalition, we have three demands. Fire Chief Sir, all of the officers who were charged with the killing of Mario Woods be charged with murder, and we need an independent investigation of the San Francisco Police Department because their culture, their culture is explicit bias against black and brown people of San Francisco. The jails, black people in San Francisco represent 3% of the population, but yet it's still 50% of the jail population. Okay, and so here's mom. Come on, mom. First of all, I want to uh, make it very clear to all of us that we just had a victory over there. They had to stop the meeting because we demanded it that they hold the meeting over here with the community. Yeah. Yeah. And we to yeah. do so. And to do so. And so we have some of us are over there and some of us are over here, right? I'm half over there and half over here because we are all one. We are one. Okay? And it's really important for us to see that this is a victory for the black and brown community. We have said enough is enough. No marches. No more talking to you, señor, you know, jefe de policía. We're not going to be talking to you anymore. But we, the black and brown community, are getting together to fight for our rights and speak for ourselves. We're going to speak for ourselves. Nobody is going to say Number one. We also have a victory last night. They tried not to let us use the bathroom, and for the first time I heard the revolutionary demand of open the bathroom. <laughs> open the bathroom because it was really important for us women, and we had two pregnant women that tried to go to the bathroom and they locked it up and they didn't let it use it. So that becomes a revolutionary demand and we won it. It was not supervisor campus. It was not supervisor campus. It was the power of the people. Fighting, and all of us can do it together. Yeah. I also would like to request, with all love and humility, that the banners that we put in this demonstration of black and brown are banners of black and brown. I beg you, with all my heart, I don't want to uh, respectfully say banners of this party, that party, this organization, that organization, because everybody gets credit for what we do, and it's time that we get credit for what we do. Please, please, please. That's I know it's hard for us. I know my son ate for me, I ate for him, for Lindo, for Salasi, 
for I for all of us who are in the hunger strike, and I felt responsible for a long time. And I've been feeling responsible because this is coming to the point where a question of what are we going to do with our life? If we're going to walk out of this strike, are we going to go ahead and continue? And I like to say that so far we all have agreed that we will continue, and even if they arrest us, we will go to jail and continue the hand of strike in the jail. And we wanted to be clear to everyone that the hand of strike is being done in the name of the black and brown community for the black and brown community to have dignity, justice, and everything that we need, housing, education, you know, and to stop the murdering of our people. That's what the hand of strike is for. For nothing else. For nothing else. For nothing else. I want you to understand that. For nothing else. And we don't feel too good, but we're happy. Our body is weak, but our mind and our heart is strong. I want you to know that. So I beg you, all the respect from all of you brothers and sisters who want to support our struggle. We accept that we love you, and it's nothing against you. It is a necessity of life for us to understand that we need to get together as black and brown and begin to realize what is it that are our needs and our demands, and we demand our demands, not what anybody else tell us to do, please. So that's why we're here. And we have been growing victory, victory, and little victory here, and a little victory there. And we united, and we are doing this in the name of Amilcar, and we're doing this in the name of uh, Mario Wood and Cannon, and we're doing this in the name of Oscar, and we're doing this in the name of all those that they have killed, that they have executed. We are doing this because they lie, because they have been doing killing of people execution style. We are doing this in the name of Luis, who is the last victim that they have in this city. And we know, as much as we want to say, the reality is that it's young men of color, and in particular, the black men that they have been targeting. And we need to stop that. And we need to continue to do this job. We need all your support. We need you to continue here. I don't know what's going to happen because we have this part here, and we're keeping the people over there because we are asking them and demanding, not asking, excuse me, demanding that they allow all of us to go in there and have a meeting ourselves in there when it's not so, so cold. But I guess they're not going to do it. We are asking you also to contact every person that you know so that they can come over here and keep supporting us because we don't want to leave here. We are not going to leave this. We have claimed this territory as our own. A territory to justice. We have claimed it. And they're going to take it away from us by force. But if they do, we want you with us. Not to go to jail, but to watch, to protect us, to breathe, to fight for our lives. We are nobody, I always said. We decided this hunger strike because there was nothing else to do. Because they doesn't listen to us. And so, we need you. We need each one of you to step on top of us and continue the struggle. And for everybody to support this struggle. And this is not about our egos, please. It's not about building my little organization, please. This is about creating a movement for justice, for equality, for the down time that there is in this country. This is about unity of black and brown that have been divided for so long. And then brothers and sisters, on equal basis of power, on equal ways, basis of what we know we want, you know that so we can unite all races and all that, you know, like workers. But first we need to know what we want and what we demand. This is really important for us. That's why we're willing to give our life. That's why we're willing to give our life. I hope for my son that he doesn't have to go through this. I love him dearly. He's my life. I gave life to him. He decided to join me and I don't know if it was such a good idea. But uh, because I want him to be alive, to have children, and to have a life, a family. You know, I don't, I don't want Lindo, who is going to be running for supervisor, also, nothing to happen to him because it seems to me, from what I have seen so far, 
that he will be a good alternative for us to have. Somebody that is committed enough to offer his life here should be committed enough to fight for us over there. That's how I see it. I don't want Ike to lose his life either because he has two children, little ones. And I know that he's doing it with all his heart to be here. And neither do I want Salazar to lose his life. You know, that's not the issue. We didn't come here to do that. But the way that they are moving, the way that they are moving, they say we don't care. But you know what? If each one of you go and call that major in demand, and you say we support those hunger strikers, and the life is in your hands, you gotta stop. If we are able to have anybody can go in front of those city hall steps and demand with, with, with banners and with leaflets and demand that our life be spared and that that man be fired because we're not going to leave and let that man be fired. You know, if we do that, because I want to tell you this, and with that I will end, I want to tell you how, how can we believe that this chief of police can do anything good for the black and brown community when we allow for racist tech to go on and didn't do anything about it until we found out and we fought against it. And again today they had a press conference because it happens again. How can you have a chief of police that said that we need an investigation for the murder of Mario Woods or the murder of Luis? of these, all the murders that have gone on, when in the video clearly we saw four and five policemen shooting this kid execution style. How can we say, how can we hide behind that idea of having an investigation? He has to fire those policemen. They should not be, not only fired, they should be in jail. They should be in jail. They should be in jail. Be in jail. But, but that is what we want to continue fighting for them to go to jail. We want to continue to fight for that mayor to get out of the office because look what he has done to our city. That mayor destroyed our city. He, the mayor destroyed everything. So, but he has to fire that guy. We cannot allow for this fight not to be won. We cannot allow, we cannot lose this fight. We cannot lose this fight. Even if we go down, you keep it up because we cannot lose this fight because this fight is the center of our freedom where the police has the gun and they have become totally untouchable. Then we cannot touch them. They can come here and they will violate in every single law when they told us to put away this, move over here, don't sit over here, don't get up, don't stand up. And you know, we follow and follow and follow and follow, you know? And they, they, they not going to stop it. So we need to do that. And the power is yours. I like to say that I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to see so many black and brown faces and also the faces of white people in solidarity with us and respect, with respect for our fight and our demands. I love you when you respect us. I love you when your solidarity is allowing us to be ourselves. Thank you. Thank you when you don't try to take over our fight. I love you for that. And on the other hand, I love all of us black and brown people who are here. Look at us. We are fighting. We are fighting for our rights, for our children, for our grandchildren. We are a rainbow coalition. Beautiful, beautiful and ready to fight to the end because we're going to do it. And we're going to do it so that you can go ahead and step over these shoulders and move on and move on and move on. And we're going to fight while we are starving to death. You're going to go ahead and walk on City Hall and demand that we do not die and that they fire the man. While we're starving today, you're going to call every day the mayor and demand that they go ahead and fire the man and that we continue with our lives. While we're starving today, 
Who you gonna go ahead every day and call every supervisor and tell him to don't be full of garbage and lie with a little resolution, but to exercise the power that they have to make the police accountable and the chief of police accountable. While we are starving to death, you're gonna go ahead every day and have walked out of the school with the children and the high school children to go there and say, we, the brown people, the brown and black people from this school are saying that we are the future and we're going to fight and we're going to have a future and nobody's going to take it away from us. While we're starving to death, while we're starving to death, we're going to go ahead and give food and clothes to those who are in the, in the, in the, um, Tents out there in those homeless towns. While we're starving to death, we go and we fight against the houses that they're taking away from us and giving to the rich. While we're starving to death, everybody take an action for something in the name of freedom, in the name of the black and brown community, in the name of our freedom, our freedom, the freedom of our grandchildren, of our children, a freedom that we all deserve, that belongs to us, but has been taken away by the rich, the powerful, and the police is defending their interests, not ours. So, we are, we are, and we should begin to chant.